Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, sir. <laughs> are we ready to start? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Warm greetings from Nepal. And uh, from Bangladesh to you all. <laughs> nice meeting. Same here. Now, uh, Jyoti sir, you don't sound coming. Yeah. Namaskar, dear friends. Namaskar. Adam. Okay. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the 16th session of South Asian Online Literary Conference being organized by Sahit Academy in collaboration with Foundation of Sark Writers and Literature. We have a total of eight participants who will be presenting their poems in this session. And I am seeing that uh, three participants are already there and hopefully uh, other participants uh, must be joining uh, in the meantime, we can start the program. Professor Kaiser Huck from Bangladesh uh, will be chairing the session. Uh, he is there. And other participants are Mr. Manoj Jha and Dr. Molly Koshal from India. Mr. Iyak Prasad Duwadi, Mr. Roop Singh Bhandari and Ms. Bhavna Pokhrel from Nepal. Mr. Obed Akash and Dr. Marzia Lipi from Bangladesh. So uh, I request that uh, each participant may take around five, six months, uh, minutes, because we have a limited time for this program, uh, total one hour. And I also request all of you to introduce yourself before you make your presentation. So friends, let us start the program. And uh, first of all, I invite uh, Mr. Roop Singh Bhandari from Nepal. Roop Singh Ji, please present yeah. your poems. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for inviting me. Of course, uh, our respected uh, president of First uh, Dr. Ajit Kaur, madam, <clears throat> who have been leading this very wonderful program since long. Uh, my name is Rup Singh Mandari. Uh, I am a poet. Uh, I, write in, I write in English, Hindi, and Nepali as well as. So I have published just one book. And recently, we have published an international pandemic anthology from Nepal, from uh, international anthology. So I think uh, this is my short introduction. <coughs> uh, better I'll give introduction from my poem. It will be good. So I'll, uh, without further ado now, I directly recite my poem. Uh, the first poem, I will recite two poems. The first poem goes like this. The poem, the title of poem is I. I live in between. I live in between. How are you? And I am fine. The universal lie. My true address is there where unlimited untold stories I have tombed. And I am still unknown. Who am I? Behind my name. That is my short introduction. This is my one poem. So my last poem is goes like this. I belong to Himalaya, Himalaya's country, Nepal. So I must uh, recite my poem uh, about Himalaya. So this uh, poem's title is in Himalayas devotion. So this will be published soon. And now I'm going to recite here. In Himalayas devotion, on the white shrine, above and near the heaven, 
a heavenly arati. I listen winds dances like devotional vibration coming from the temples in less chanting of devotees. Disappearing into undiscovered reality, I felt someone is singing Kowali on the Darga of sky with clouds. The Om Mane Peme Om, whispering unspeakably as monsoon. An unearthly group prayer of thunderstorm, sparkling the dismal face of humanity. I disdain self and dissolve. I disdain self and dissolve in front of Himalayas, divine spectrum. I transmuted by the heavenly concert in front of sanctified Himalayas, where everyone thought into one another being voiceless. At the certain sacred of where everything transcends into one as snow, pure white, sportlessly into the one family hypnotized by Himalayas devotion on the white shrine above and near the heaven. I every day listen the heavenly arati. Thank you so much. Namaste. Mr. Bandari, you can present one more poem if you want. We have time for you. Uh, okay, sure. Um, so, Namaste, um, Ajit Kaur, Madam I saw you there. <laughs> so, I have, I think, time. So, I will recite my another, uh, another poem. Uh, okay, so thank you so much for giving this chance. So, um, quickly, I will recite another poem without uh, further ado. Uh, it's about <coughs> Mother Nation. <coughs> <coughs> the blurred map in her face, the entangled lines over lines are hiding the geography of pain and the history of struggle. And age is forcefully evaporating like a ventilator from her mouth. The empty, elongated ears love are defining economy. The uncombed white hair, the uncombed white hair silently whispering her endurances. The deep eyes are frozen like tears, snow legs, stashing her untold stories. But, but for her own descendants who made ugly in the name of beauty, but for her own descendants who made ugly in the name of beauty, the mother nation is still selflessly flashing back her smile in her so-called own false permission. In her so-called own false permission. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Bandari, uh, for presenting nice poems. And uh, uh, I am seeing Molly Koshalji has joined. Good morning, Molly Koshalji, and good morning, Madam Ajit Korji. And uh, ji. Lots of love, Ajit ji. Good morning. And, and the person whose name is appearing on the screen in Bengali, can you uh, introduce yourself, sir? Yeah, we are. This is Obaid Akash uh, from Bangladesh. I will jot down. I will jot down. Obaid Akash. Obaid Akash from Bangladesh, Dhaka. Okay, okay. So now I will request uh, Dr. Molly Koshal to present her poems, and uh, before that, uh, she can introduce uh, herself. Please. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you a lot. Um, I really have no introduction when Ajit ji asked me to send a little bio. I said, but Ajit ji, I have no name, no address as a poet. So I really don't know how to introduce. So my introduction is Ajit ji's indulgence in love. That has put me again here to, to read out uh, whatever I write in whatever name you want to give it. Uh, I will read... Uh, uh, one poem uh, first, and then we'll see if there is time. 
and that this is in hindi if i am left with the time maybe i'll read a little poem in english as well though i don't write in english generally it's just that it happened to be there so the poem that i'm going to read to you is called middle class aurat chatak lal rang ki saadi ke bhitar ek behad thaki hui deh ko samete ve nikal padi roz marra zindagi ki sadak par पैरों की रफ्तार तेज क्या की फटी एड़िया विद्रोहों पर उतर आई लिपस्टिक वाले होठों की उकताई मुस्कान इधर उधर फेंकते हुए धम से कैबिन की कुर्सी पर आ पड़ी नकली चमड़े वाले पर्स को कुछ यूं फेंकते जैसे उतार रही हो अपने मन से अपनी देह की थकान या फिर वो दम घोटू सारा का सारा लाल चटक रंग अचानक यका यक नजर अटक गई कांच की नगीने वाली मुंदरी पर मुंदरी क्लाइडोस्कोप के रंगीन सपनों वाली मुंदरी जो अब खुबने लगी थी की पैड पर निष्प्रयोजन चलती उंगलियों में अब सब खुबता है सभी कुछ तो दुखता है वही चिर परिचित घुड़की भरा स्वर मैडम बुला रही हैं आपको एक बहुत छोटी मैडम थोड़ी सी बड़ी वाली मैडम के कमरे में दाखिल हुई सावधानी से संभालते हुए आंखों की कोर पर ठिठक गई थोड़ी सी झुंझलाहट कुछ रोष और कुछ विद्रोह की संभावनाएं सामने जो मैडम चिल्ला रही थी वे भी स्त्री थी उसके जैसी चटक रंग वाली साड़ी के भीतर छिपाए एक बेहद थका हुआ शरीर उंगली नहीं मुद्री थी क्लाइडोस्कोप के रंगीन सपनों वाली मुद्री उसके पर्स के किसी कोने में उसके पर्स के भी किसी कोने में चाबियों का एक उच्छा था राह तकता किसी गंतव्य की गंतव्य जो था भी और नहीं भी सामने वाली स्त्री ठीक उसी की तरह थी एक बेहतर और So, if I have time, I can. Yeah, you can present one more poem. We did by her. Present one more poem. So maybe this one I will. It's a very small one. I can read it in English. Okay, only one small one. Okay. Oh, you. Oh you the beautiful one they said you were in the city today selling the jasmine flower i looked for you in every lane and by lane of my heart gone you were but already i reached out for the fragrance of the flower under the feet of the wayfarer so that's it thank you thank you molly ji thank you very much and uh, before i invite next participant i am seeing that uh, dr marzia lipi is also there but, uh, but uh, her video is not open can i request dr marzia to uh, open her uh, video please marzia ji if you are listening me yes okay so uh, thank you so now i invite mr Iyak Prasad Duvadi from Nepal, sir. Before you present, uh, you give your introduction also. Ah, uh, all right. Thank you very much, Professor Kesar Haq, the chairperson of the session. Ah, uh, respected Ajit uh, Kaur Madam, ah, uh, distinguished uh, poets from. Home and the South region, uh, mainly Mr. Manoj Jha, Mr. Obaid Akash, Mr. Rup Singh Bandari, Dr. Modi Kaushal, uh, Ms. Bhavna Pokhrel, and Dr. Marzia Lipi. I am Ek Prasad Dubari, an assistant professor at Kathmandu University, Jolikar, Nepal. Uh, besides uh, teaching, uh, I'm a creative writer. Got published 
uh, several poems and uh, short stories. Uh, besides, I'm a researcher also. Uh, it's a really a great pleasure uh, to be um, with all of you. Uh, today, I'll present uh, only one poem, Hope Never Dies. I want to save time for other presenters. Uh, so, it goes like this. Hope never dies. I sense so heartbreaking as you feel heart rending. But my dear, don't cry. Suddenly, I'll try. I'm always with you to help and console you. In the coronavirus pandemic, be strong. Wear masks with distance, do all tasks. Don't be in fright. Things will be all right. All right, all right. So wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Mr. Duvedi. Uh, now I will request Ms. Bhavna Pokhrel from Nepal. Bhavna ji. Huh. Bhavna ji, open your audio, please. Yes. Uh, yes, I have unmuted, sir. Uh, Bhavna ji, before you present your poems, uh, give you a small introduction. And, um, dignity is respect beloved friends and dearest mother. Uh, very good morning. I, I'm um, Bhavna Pokhrel and I'm from Nepal. Uh, I, as since I attended last year to hope it was uh, um, my net is much too straight. Yes, uh, delighted I am for being invited and thank you for Shwal and uh, the patrons for your seeing all of you again and we come very much agile together. Yes, um, we are ever together as SAC and more Don't together as the lovers of letters through which we want um, uh, empathy, dignity, uh, peace and um, love to prevail in our world. Uh, does have and so sorry for the interruption the net is much too uh, unstable here okay yeah, no problem uh, without any delay i will decide it please continue uh, the title is called panjali and it goes like this. Uh, I am Panjali. At present, I have five fiancés. Yudhisthira to hold my being. Vishma authority for my body. Arjuna, Nakula, Shahadeva. In the future, I want to be a Tenchali. Five more husbands around for my saffron soul to surround. I want Kubera to fulfill my capitalistic creed. I crave for Ravana to ramble with into the air. I bail Buddha for his silence and grace. I plead, I plead Pitamaha to peel off penitence. I hail by me healthy Hanumana's forge to hold me that purple rose. For I'm a platonic Panchali in bliss. I love all beings and preach world peace. I love all beings and preach all peace. Thank you. And I would like to recite a, a, a poem, which is very short, the second one, uh, to go with it. Uh, somehow in the uh, rat run of this capitalistic world, uh, it seemed like as if we have really forgotten
everything is all. So when your pretty palms kiss my murky mountains, snow clad, they warm up, merge, melt, and evaporate. I think uh, Dr. Bhavna, Dr. Bhavna Pokhrel's internet is not working properly. So uh, let us invite uh, Mr. Obed Akash from uh, yeah. Bangladesh. Obedji, please present your poems. And if Dr. Bhavna comes back, we will give another chance to her. Please. OK, thank you very much. Good morning. Greetings to all. Uh, I am uh, very happy to uh, join in this episode. Uh, respect to Ajit Kaur and all of participants and poet and distinguished writers. Um, I am Obaya Dakash uh, from Bangladesh. Uh, basically, I am a poet. I have written uh, 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 basic uh, uh, 40 books of uh, uh, poem and uh, 20 books uh, uh, others uh, essay translation edit uh, 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 etc uh, and a short story uh, i want to uh, uh, i i think uh, 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 south asian literature festival is very prestigious and uh, organized festival i'm very happy to join this episode uh, uh, basically, I write in Bengali, my uh, mother tongue. I want to uh, recite my first poem in Bengali. Amar Kovita Nam Kagots Theke Beriye. Jalo Kagots Theke Beriye Pori. Station e Jai. ট্রেনের ছাদে উঠে ফুটবল খেলি প্রতিদিন কাগজে থেকে ব্যাপক পৃথিবীটা কেমন অচেনা হয়ে উঠছে সমুদ্রটা অজানাই থেকে গেল অথচ বেরিয়ে পড়লে কত কিছু করা যায় রুটির মতো উল্টে পাল্টে দেখা যায় চাঁদ তারাগুলো কর্য করে মার্বেল খেলা যায় চলো কাগজের এই ক্ষুদ্রাতি ক্ষুদ্র পাতা ছেড়ে বরং সমুদ্রে চড়ে বসি তার অতলে ডুবে যাই বিস্তৃত প্রাণী জগতের বাসিন্দা মনে হবে তাতে তাছাড়া কাগজে সংসারে থেকে প্রতিদিন পলায়নের চেয়ে ডুবুরির মতো সমুদ্র তলে প্রকাশ্যে ঘুরে বেড়ানো যাবে ভাবতে ভাবতে পাড়াগায়ের সমস্ত মাঠ এসে চলে বসলো আমার কাগজের পাতায় গরু চড়ালো মলন ছড়ালো রাত ভরে শুরু হলো বীর গাজির গান আর ভোরবেলা যখন লাঙল চড়াতে যাবে তখন তার পিছু পিছু এই কাগজ থেকে বেরিয়ে পড়ব ঠিক ইতোমধ্যে ব্যবহৃত কাগজের প্রতিমায়া আর একবার সমুদ্র আর একবার শৈশবের মাঠের জন্য মায়া আজকাল কে যেন আমাকে দ্বিধান্বিত পৃথিবীর দিকে ইশারা করে যায় নাও আই ওয়ান্ট টু মাই সেকেন্ড পয়েন্টস uh, I uh, want to recite my second poem in English, uh, a short, very short uh, poem. Uh, my poem name is Postmodern Cat. Hello. Yes, yes. Continue. Yeah. Please continue. Uh, yeah. Uh, my uh, uh, English poem name is postmodern cat in few timid toys you are crazing years abound you know infinity intimately ever floating around something violent happened or something else you know it better with appendix and details much you have drawn others but nobody like you in moonlit night rain, surf on sea waves few. Still in muse, keep revealing extramarital secrecy, 
too much in veil, too much in evil, nakedly exposed hot hypocrisy. You are smile, smile of Charjapad, sorrows of Lalon's sherin, drying decorated quilt, nobody in Tagore's sunshine. This poem is translated by uh, a poet, uh, Mahfuz al Hussein. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Obed, uh, for your nice poems. Welcome. And, welcome. Uh, uh, Bhavna ji, you open your audio. I Hello, tried Bhavna ji. I decided again, so thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, you, since you could not present yes, to complete yeah. your poems. So I am on mute. You may present a couple of more poems, please. I thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here I go with a uh, poem which I was uh, in almost in the middle of reciting before. And um, uh, the title is Just Being Is All. Um, uh, where your pretty palms caress my murky mountains, so that they warm up Mars, melt, and evaporate. When your high head stoops to concord me, the birds I view of the universe, I see, ah, all the words into my arms. When our ski joyed existences struck and stirred in mind, the rotating rise or a caravan fall, together just being is all together just being it yes actually i'm uh, a bit off shite um, but it's still i wanted to be together namaste to Ma mother ajit who is the ocean of love and kindness forever and namaste to everybody uh, so actually um, couple of sir can i recite one more or that's yeah, enough yeah, yeah. for the time we have enough time uh, at least two poems you can present okay, okay. two more so uh, and I go for uh, uh, a poem entitled Frank's Team. Second day, love marries, walking side by side. You shouted some personal stuff aloud in the public way. Of go separate and its beers to talk aloud seemed to you stopped but made it a knot forever in our lovely life nurtured it barbed in the weapon and fermented it to fury life for a dead full decade with a heavy heart presume that i did not like you talk you left me alone in every walk it was my bearing that taught me to talk soft, pleasurable, pleasing for private, pertinent for. You thought was an opposite pole to mine over the passing time. Incompatibility grew like a vine. Mistake, neither yours nor your first team. It was solely what made me your friend's team. Thank you. Thank you very much. During the spring, especially for our beloved mother, Ajit, and we are so very happy to be together uh, today. And now uh, uh, I would like every one of us to cherish this moment and hope to see everybody soon. Thank you very much for your privilege and thank you very much for the time again. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Bhavna Ji. Thank you very much. Uh, and now I invite, I invite Dr. Marzia Lippi from Bangladesh. Marzia Ji, you open your audio first. Marzia Ji. Hello, Dr. Marzia. We cannot hear you. Please open your audio.
Hello. Ah yes. Now now we can hear. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Good to see everybody after long time and the pandemic. Uh, dear respected president of the uh, South Asian Online Literary Conference, OGG, respected chairperson of the station, and other respected delegates from several countries. Assalamu alaikum and very good morning. My short introduction. This is Marcia Lipi from Bangladesh. I started my journey as a writer and poet about 20 years ago. More than 30 publications have been published in the field of environment, coastal ecology, biodiversity conservation, tourism, liberation war, genocide, psychology, biography of national personality, etc. Professionally, I started my career as an environmentalist in Bangladesh Forest Department, then the Prime Minister's office, and now I am working in U.S. projects, climate resilience, super system, and life with it. My passion is uh, nature travel and explore. I love nature and want to work for nature and also her creation. Now I am presenting my poem, first in English, then Bengali. Sorrow. It's written uh, 10th July um, 2004. Hearing Sharod, it rang in my chest, crying in the emptiness of the wire jungle. Where is the source of the search? I don't know which wire moves the heart. Not in the melody of music, but in the passion of hunger. I accompany myself in the lonely journey of Sharod's hunger. The world burns itself in the heat of the sun of the universe. A rainbow of rock spreads in the sky. The roots of music are known in the world and the world merges in Brahma. Color, anger, fragments seem to blend into the melody of the music. The destination of music, color, flowers, pure water, perfume, is space. We search flowers, birds, music, and colors. Let's go to the mountains and see the melody leaves to God. God is for everyone, the God who brought us into the world. That God will take us to another world, each realizing the beauty of melody. The melody binds the whole world in one thread. Sharod, 10th July, 10th July, 2004. Sharod, Bukir Baje, Tarir Chankare, Rikta Dai Hahakare, Kujichi Ruth Shukutai, Janina, Pontare Naradai, Ridoi Ki, Shumitir Shuri, Naragi Rumia. Sharude Ragi Nishongo Jatrai Nijiku Kurishungi. Bishop Romandir Shuji Tape Nijiki Dakuri. Gabir Kiro Nakashi Churi Jai Dongunate Shungitil Shu Shekol Chena Piki Chile Nilejai Omni Kutao Omni Piki. Rong Rak Shudindi Janum Shijai Shumitil Shuri. Shongi Rong Thul Akash Chal Shugundir Bantuk O Mahakashi Thul Paki Shongi Rong Kujibarai Chulijai Parbuti Chulijai Shumutri Shuri Nijai Shuri Kachi Shabar Tuni Achin Shor She Shor Jimmy Amadi Nichan Pitniti She Shor Jimmy Omijagai Nijabi Shuri Shunduju Kiste Paki Oti Shutari Shuri Bedri Kiche Titari Shamu. I like to recite another short poem, yeah. yeah. Motherland. Uh, it's written on 24, 2009. Motherland is another mother of ours. Amon Deshti Kothao Kuji, Padina Kutuni, Shakul Deshi Rani Shiji Amar John Mukuni. You will never find a land like this anywhere. The Queen of all countries in my homeland. Thank you again. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for kind patience. Thank you. See you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Marzia ji. Uh, you have presented some of your nice poems. Thank and you. before. Before I formally invite the um, chairperson of the session, Madam Ajit Korji, would you like to say something, Madam? Everybody is so good. My uh, my throat is choked with emotion. Okay, thank you. So. Okay, thanks. Now I request. Professor Kesar Haq, chairman of the session, for your valuable comments, sir, uh, on the points on the points presented by these points, and we will also love to have some of your own poems, Professor Kesar. Thank you very much. Um, thanks to Ajit Ji for keeping the fossil going, and thanks to the Sahitya Academy for collaborating on this. Uh, to in the organization of this online uh, conference, um, it was a it's been a pleasure to listen to my fellow poets from different South countries, my own uh, motherland, India, and Nepal. And um, I hope we will all keep in touch because uh, literature, the, those who serve literature, are uh, have a strong bond, have a special bond. And uh, we should uh, work together to envision a better world. Um, I'd like to recite uh, a couple of uh, two or three of my poems, if I may. Yes, of course. And I will start with a poem written some years back called uh, Playing Games. My little daughter has suddenly taken a fancy to board games. Ludo, drafts, snakes and ladders. And she insists we play with her. The rules are, are beyond her comprehension though. She just loves rattling the dice and moving the counters any which way. She's only playing at play. And we play along charmed by the absurdity of it all, and secure too in the knowledge that before long, she'll have the rules at her fingertips and will happily concede defeat to her freshly acquired expertise. There's a lesson here, for everything's a game as to say, war, love, work, politics, what have you. And from playing at playing a game to actually playing it, one makes a full quantum leap. It's what we call growing up. If only we could be reasonably sure our leaders would one day stop playing at playing the game of democracy and start playing it. I'll move on to a poem written to honor um, a, a teacher of mine at Dhaka University. Uh, this was part of a fest shift for Professor Kansa Um He passed on some years back. The title is Dear Sir. Dear Sir, how well we remember that season of fond hopes and imperious desires. The salt breeze of a sure future, navigating through the maze of this old city's streets and lanes to nudge us in warm intimacy. Between the adrenaline rush of the protest march and the quiet delights of classroom theater, we split our serious hours and still saved a few to waste as we wish. What did we gather as we foregathered for early morning lectures and mid-morning tutorials? Wisdom, knowledge, or information? Did it entirely depend on one's interpretive bent? Or was it a style and not just content? 
matter and manner inseparably blent. Not soap, but classic opera. Above the demagogic baritones, your tentative tenor still rose to fastidiously reiterate, even when inexorable blight taints the world at large, there is room in the heart for sweetness and light. Is that what drew some of us to follow you into the peculiar profession of professing letters? But first we had to face the palindromic chatter of carbine and machine gun fire and be reborn in the giddy air of freedom and its discontents. We woke up one fine morning to find the groves of academe globalized into a down market shopping mall, trading briskly in various degrees of proven, of proven value on the job market. Pushing literature uncast in the role of the farcical pedagogue once played by Stephen Dedalus. The younger generation show no taste for sweetness and light. In a world of texting and email, letters are of no avail. We are both old fashioned there, making naught of the notorious gap between one generation and the next. It's time for us to make a stand affirming the worth of things we cherish. Age is no matter, man doesn't grow old, the world grows old. It's sinking beneath our feet. Let it sink. Our task is to think and sing of our true heritage. To conclude, I should like to go back to the style of a more ceremonious age and declare that I remain your most obedient pupil. Kaiser Huck. I think we've run out of time, haven't we? No, you can present one more poem, sir. We have time. Uh, I'd like to uh, read out a version of a song by Lalom Shah. Uh, everyone uh, has heard of Lalom Shah, I'm sure, the great Baul. And his songs are also very complex poems. Uh, I translated two of them. This is one. That probably his best known song, Khachar Ghetor Ochin Pati. Strange Bird of Passage. A strange bird of passage flits in and out of the cage. God knows how. If only I could catch it, I'd put on its feet the fetters of consciousness. Eight rooms and nine doors and little windows piercing the walls. The assembly room right on, the, on tops a hall of mirrors. What is it but my hard luck that the bird's so contrary it has flown its cage and hides in the woods? O oh heart, beguiled by your cage, you don't see it's built of green bamboo. Lalon says, beware, it will fall apart any day. Any more time? One more. Okay, another song of Lalun. Um, the, the Mysterious Neighbor. This is also a very famous song of his. Um, in a mirror city close by lives a neighbor I've never seen. Though I long to see him, how can I reach him? being like an islander amidst endless water. No boat in sight of my curious neighbor. What can I say? For he has neither limbs nor head and shoulders. One moment he's soaring in space and floating in water the next. If only he touched me once, all fear of death would disappear. He lives where Lalun lives and yet is a million miles away. Okay, thank you, Professor Kesar. Thank you very much. We had a very good session. Run out of time, I think. Uh, we had thank a very you very much for uh, honoring me with uh, the chairpersonship of this session. And, okay. Uh, thanks to everybody else. Who uh, oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We had a very good uh, session.
uh, now i thank all of you on behalf of sahitya academy and foundation of sark writers and literature for participating in this lively session we look forward and meet you again with some of your new poems namaste and thank you very much thank you so much ajit ma'am thank you so much <laughs>